The event we all have been waiting for months finally happened, but things didn't go all as planned. In this video, we will delve into what exactly happened and how Musk reacted to it. But before we go any further, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the space industry. Just before liftoff, the water deluge system was activated, a crucial safety measure to protect the launch pad from damage. This system, necessary due to issues encountered in a previous launch six months earlier, effectively flooded the pad with a large volume of water. When the engines ignited, the rocket lifted off successfully. All 33 engines functioned without issue, a notable improvement from the first flight and an indication of the advancement SpaceX had made. As the rocket ascended, a key moment in the flight was the stage separation, which was of high interest due to the new hot staging system. This system's performance was crucial for the mission's success and future SpaceX operations. Fortunately, the system worked as intended, successfully completing the stage separation and marking an important achievement for the mission. The rocket's super-heavy first-stage booster achieved a crucial maneuver to separate from its core Starship stage. Yet shortly after this detachment, it exploded over the Gulf of Mexico as captured in the SpaceX webcast. This development was unexpected and raised immediate concerns about the mission's outcome. Meanwhile, the core Starship booster, undeterred by the fate of the Super Heavy booster, carried further towards space. But a few minutes later, a concerning announcement came from SpaceX Mission Control. The live stream host reported, We have lost the data from the second stage. We think we may have lost the second stage. This statement indicated potential issues with the core component of the mission. About eight minutes into the test mission, camera views tracking the Starship booster appeared to show an explosion. At this point, the rocket had reached an altitude of 91 miles, suggesting that the vehicle might have failed at this stage of the mission. This launch was SpaceX's second attempt to fly the Starship mounted atop its towering super-heavy rocket booster. The previous attempt in April had also ended in an explosive failure about four minutes after liftoff. At approximately 43 miles in altitude, the rocket system executed the crucial maneuver to separate the two stages. The Super Heavy booster was intended to plunge into the Gulf of Mexico waters, while the core Starship booster was to continue its journey into space using its own engines. Now, many are curious about the condition of the launch pad following the Starship's liftoff. Fortunately, compared to the aftermath of the first launch, the launch pad appears to be in a much better situation this time around. There seems to be some slight damages to the side legs, but nothing overly concerning. More importantly, it's evident that the water deluge system, which was activated just before the liftoff, has served its purpose effectively. This system, designed to flood the launch area with a large volume of water, is a crucial safety feature intended to protect the launch pad from the intense heat and force of the rocket's engines during liftoff. Of course, it's important to note that it's still quite early to draw conclusions about the state of the launch pad. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be any major visible damage, which is a positive sign. The SpaceX team is already on site, thoroughly inspecting the launch pad. They are methodically analyzing every component to check for any potential issues that might not be immediately noticeable. However, the explosion of the Super Heavy booster cast a shadow over the mission. SpaceX, in the aftermath, has yet to provide detailed information about the fate of the core stage. Despite these challenges, SpaceX shared an update on social media. The company stated that the core Starship stage's engines fired for several minutes on its way to space. This update, while not addressing the entire situation, provided some insight into the mission's trajectory. SpaceX encapsulated the essence of the mission in their statement. With a test like this, success comes from what we learn, and today's test will help us improve Starship's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multi-planetary. This perspective highlights the company's focus on learning and development, even in the face of setbacks. The launch and the subsequent events have been a mix of triumph and challenge. The successful liftoff and initial ascent of the Starship represented a significant step forward. This event could potentially strain SpaceX's relationship with the Federal Aviation Administration even further. 
the FAA plays a crucial role in regulating commercial spaceflight, ensuring safety and compliance with federal regulations. After the first Starship launch resulted in an explosion, the FAA scrutinized SpaceX's operations closely, giving the company significant regulatory challenges. This heightened oversight was a response to concerns about public safety and adherence to flight authorization requirements. Given this history, the explosion during the latest launch might prompt the FAA to take an even more stringent stance towards SpaceX. The agency could impose stricter regulations, more rigorous safety reviews, or even delay future launch approvals. NASA also might view this outcome with a sense of disappointment, given their significant investment in the Starship project. NASA's involvement with SpaceX's Starship extends beyond mere observation. They have a vested interest in its success. The Starship is an integral part of NASA's ambitious Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the moon and eventually venture to Mars. The reliability and success of the Starship are crucial for the timeline and overall feasibility of the Artemis missions. Following the first launch failure in April, NASA expressed concerns about the potential impact of these delays on their planned timeline. Their apprehension is understandable, considering the high stakes involved. The Artemis program is not just a milestone for NASA, but a significant step for human space exploration. Delays and setbacks in the Starship's development directly affect the schedule and planning of future lunar missions. The explosion of the Super Heavy booster in this latest test, even after the improvements made since the April failure, is likely to further exacerbate these concerns. For NASA, each test is not just about SpaceX's internal goals, but also about assessing the viability of the Starship as a dependable vehicle for the Artemis program. The repeated issues could potentially lead to re-evaluations of timelines and strategies. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.